Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and it's official. I am caught up uh, on my alternate version of this campaign. I am now playing in Brigadier General difficulty, as you can see up here in the little corner above the date. And we are ready to get going on the Battle of Gaines Mill on this Ultimate General Civil War No Infantry Campaign Challenge on the Confederate side. Uh, things were going a little too easy with the Colonel difficulty, so we've upped it to Brigadier General. And we're going to continue on. It looks like things are going to be pretty even at this battle. Let's just take a look here. Uh, the frontal attack right there along with the right flanking attack give me a total of 19,740 men and 84 guns compared to the Union's slightly higher number of soldiers but fewer guns. So I feel pretty good about my odds considering the kind of units I'm bringing into this fight. Almost all skirmishers. I've got a couple of mounted units. I've gotten away completely from the mounted infantry. Uh, earlier wars, they would have been known as dragoons. Uh, they just don't really seem to be as effective as these thousand man skirmisher units are. So uh, that's what I've chosen to go with instead. Now I'm going to start things out a little differently than what it's given me here. I think we're going to go ahead and bring in more artillery. I'd like to have that artillery early as opposed to later when it takes me a little longer to get into position. We'll, we'll let one... No, you know what? Let's bring in all the artillery now, and then we'll just take our time. So uh, what we're looking at here is our sharpshooters, the first CSA sharpshooters right there. Uh, we've got back here Cutler. This is my unit that has Whitworth rifles. I didn't have enough for a 1,000 of them, just 800. The 95th ri rifles are probably my most elite regular skirmisher unit uh, they've got some decent weapons they're also the first one to hit two stars and uh, then a lot of artillery so we're going to bring that in we're going to advance slowly and just use use my weaponry and the build of my army to my advantage and we'll see how it goes all right so we're making first contact here some skirmishers Obviously, because I have such big skirmisher units, that in turn causes him to have pretty large skirmisher units himself. You can see a thousand there, five hundred there, six hundred there. So he certainly builds to match. But I still like my chances on mine. So right now on the field, he's got me better than two to one. That's certainly going to change as time goes on. We'll keep all of this stuff kind of to the rear for now. And I'm going to advance pretty slowly because of these skirmishers. I'll probably build a line right along here for now until I can cross effectively keep driving these guys back once I can get to where I can see kind of his main line, which I'm sure is right along here, then I can get my artillery, my uh, sharpshooters in position. You know what, I think I'm going to send the Rough Riders across. Deal with those skirmishers once and for all, so I don't have to have those guys kind of floating around behind me. Oh, he's got a thousand man first US sharpshooter unit down there. That's going to make things interesting. I'm going to go ahead and 
park my battle line right here for now. Alright, let's do this, Rough Riders. Take him down. Don't let him get to the woods. All right, that should do it for those guys, and it does. Perfect. Man, I love having those big cavalry units. All right, those sharpshooters are out here somewhere. I'm just not sure where. I don't like sending Cummings across right there, but I don't think I have a choice at the moment. Get these rifle, 95th rifles up on the hill. I should have a better view of what's going on. Okay, there's the sharpshooters. There's his main line. So I am getting a good view from there. And you know what? The supplies are just a little too close to his line for my liking. Alright, we gotta get the guns across. This is gonna be a bit of a nightmare to get them down through the woods, over this water, and up to the top of that hill. Alright, I'll take my chances with the sharpshooter. Now, there he goes. Probably better off to shoot him than to let him get him back behind his lines. Yep, there's skirmishers there. Not going to try that right now. Let's get my sharpshooters into position. I'd like to bring Breckenridge over a little bit further this way. Got to be careful. These sharpshooters, I'm sure, have some decent range on them. But so do mine. All right, we need the artillery up. It's going to take a little while. Okay, I got to be careful here because he's got artillery. So even though he won't be in range to shoot at me with his rifles from Butterfield right there, he can still hit me with his artillery. So I need to get mine up. Let's start pushing this line forward a little bit. Can't wait to have enough guns to get a second unit of those sharpshooters going. Alright, let's speed things along because not a lot's going to be happening while we're waiting on the guns. Alright, so the situation thus far is this. We've taken out 4,000 men. Although that might be misleading. You know, I'm not really sure about that number because I know I didn't take out 11 of his guns. 
Anyway, we've lost 100. Well, 70. That could be accurate. Let's look at how many kills we have. 360. Now, definitely not 4,000 men. I did wipe out an entire unit, though. That was helpful. I've probably taken out closer to 1,000. But my guns are about to be up here. So the objectives are at least one must be fulfilled, either Boatswain's uh, Woods or Hill, or and then hold McGee Hill, which I don't believe is even on this map yet. But that'll be easy enough with the, the flanking attack. Oh, we lost a skirmisher. Or a uh, sharpshooter. Ninety-fifth rifle is not quite in range. No, but we just drove him out of his fortifications. Sharpshooters already have six hundred and forty-two kills, and now the artillery gets to start lighting them up. Need to get a couple of these ten-pounders a little closer. Need to get the ammo replenished over here for Cutler. I'm not going to advance quite yet. We're going to just kind of be content to keep shooting it out for a little while. I want to take out his artillery though. And then once we get to the next phase and we see what things are happening, then we'll go ahead and cross right here, I think. Start getting on his flank. I want to see what the final numbers are going to look like. I with, the, with what I've inflicted so far, I should have an advantage at this point, numerically. We're going to get our reinforcements. All right, let's pause for a second. All right, the battle continues, and reinforcements arrive but they did for him as well so I'm still significantly outnumbered so I'm gonna be pretty content to continue to just shoot it out right here while he plugs new units into those positions I do want to get these 95th rifles in a little closer they've got some nice weapons and I want to be able to use them there we go now they're in range of that fortification if he tries to plug someone else in there. Alright, his re reinforcements are pouring in on this side, but I'm not going to attack there. I've got a flank attack coming, and I'm just going to push in from this side. Plenty of time available to me. Right now his advantage is just under 11,000 men. Only thing I'm a little bit worried about will be supply. Especially if I keep my guns hot the whole time because I'm already down to about half with this one. I'm going to go ahead and start bringing the 95th rifles across. I'm going to have them not fire, at least for now, because I might be able to get in there and grab those supplies, but I'm guessing they're going to start moving here in a second. Yeah, they are. All right, forget that. Oh, he's got a unit hiding. Look at that. Let's get the sharpshooters down in closer. I'll bring these guys around this way. I'm also going to go ahead and get the mounted units going. There's some swamp down here i got to be careful of.
Uh, I don't know how effective these guys are going to be down here, but I certainly don't want the 95th ri Rifles taking on this melee assault by themselves. So we'll make Warden, all right, Warren pay for that. I don't know if that's Governor Warren or not. I'm assuming these are real generals, so I can't think of any other Warren that would be. All right, we've got our Rough Riders across the water now. I'm going to go ahead and back them off before they start taking a lot of shots. Let's go ahead and get these other two units across. Okay, uh, he had about an 11,000 man advantage. It's uh, it's down to 10 now. I'm going to have to start moving the guns up. All that swamp's going to be a mess to try and maneuver in. I'll keep the Rough Riders right there. Especially if he's going to do that. Charge with a single unit with no support. Perfect. All right, back off, back off. Oh yes, please reoccupy that fortification. What could possibly go wrong? game is slow and steady wins the race on this mode with skirmishers because you gotta close the gap numerically and use the weapons to your advantage so that's what I'm trying to do we've got them all bunched up pretty good right here I really need to get my guns across eventually I'm gonna go ahead and bring the sharpshooters over here so they can start shooting at these guys they're kind of their views blocked on this side Go ahead and get these Napoleons across. We'll kind of leapfrog the artillery. Move a couple at a time. All right, his advantage is down to 9,400 men. I've still only lost 200 men. That's fantastic for as long as I've been fighting. Ammo is going to become a problem, though. Alright, sharpshooters. Let's put them right here. Maybe start trying to pick off some of that artillery. Okay, first objective secure. The only other one I need is right here. 
and I haven't gotten my flanking attack yet. I gotta be careful, it looks like he's coming at me with a big unit of uh, Elon Farnsworth's mounted infantry. He was killed in kind of a foolish charge at Gettysburg, if I remember right. All right, he's moving in units now. We gotta be a little careful here. Lost a few men in the sharpshooter unit because he's moving, moving up on me. All right, let's back these guys off. Oh, Switzer's getting nailed right now. Back off, back off. Alright, so he looks like he thought better of his little planned foray across the water. We'll let him continue to try stuff like that. Alright, Rough Riders, don't fall back that far. Cable, really? Come on, dude. You don't need to fall back that far. Alright, what's the situation look like now it's uh, less than an 8,000 man advantage I, I, I did lose some men there so I've lost 450 now still I'm waiting for a big chunk of my men and here they come asking you shall receive so we'll let them all get onto the map before I worry about giving them instructions all right, well, this might not be the worst thing in the world. Now I can just sneak cable up across this way. All right, looks like he's pulling back because he sees the flank attack coming. So it's going to allow me to secure my position here and get my guns across. Stop right there for now. Come on, King, stop. There you go. Alright. I think everybody that we're going to get is here for now. So let's go ahead and start moving down. Other objectives right here shouldn't be hard to take. We're not even on the last phase of the battle yet. He may still get reinforcements. I'm not sure where he's at on that. Bring the guns across. That's going to take some time. I'm going to move the skirmishers again. Just trying to get them a good spot. Let's get the Rough Riders over here. Should be a good spot for them to park. Pretty much anywhere he hits me now, I've got kind of this nice curved line that should allow me to maybe get into his flanks a little bit. All right, we've made contact on this side. So let's kind of hold steady for now.
still waiting on the guns to get across. I think I can focus on this side for a little while now. It's not a huge force so far over here. There's Farnsworth though, he's kind of lurking on this side now. And there's sharpshooters. I don't even need this objective. This is the only other one I need. Now I get a good glimpse of everything going on in the middle. Oh, here's a chance to nail those sharpshooters out in the open. Oh, he had a couple other units hiding in those woods. That's right, it's worth it. Send the Rough Riders over to the other objective. Start trying to nail some of this artillery. Ammo. I don't know how much I have left. Very little. Alright, Forrest, back off. We're just trying to disrupt these guys. Hey, look, supplies. And I'm not sure he's got anybody near him this time. Got him. Now the, the tricky part is trying to get him back to my lines. There's really not a lot more I need to do on this side because I don't need that objective. He's throwing everything he's got toward protecting the other one. So let's start sending units over that way. It also is going to send them closer to the supplies that I grabbed over there. Oh yeah, no, we're going to send both of these melee units up into this action. Let's take out these sharpshooters once and for all. Alright. Now the tricky part here is that he's got a whole lot more of his army on this spot than I do. Not entirely sure I'm going to be able to get my guns into an effective range to be able to keep fighting, at least not yet. Just send these guys up into the corner for now. I gotta be careful here. This could be trouble for me. Just don't have a lot of units there yet. I 
So he left one pretty substantial size unit there to defend that objective that I don't really need. And now I'm going to tick him off because I've got the other objective. And I don't think this battle is going to end when that contested timer ticks down. But one never really knows for sure. Let's get these guys mounted back up. Here he comes. Alright, let's get help over there. Now, in theory, I should probably leave somebody back there to guard that objective, but I'm so close to the other one that it might just make more sense for me just to take the other objective and not worry about that. Let's grab these other supplies. I don't know if there's anything left in them or not, but... Oh, yeah. Quite a bit. Oh, look at you. Hitting me big time. Alright, Switzer, you get into Taylor's flank. No, we gotta keep keep hunt after Farnsworth. Yeah, there just wasn't enough of my army in that spot yet. I wanna pause for a second just to kind of evaluate the situation. Numbers are pretty even now. I've got him by about a thousand men on the field. That tells me I haven't gotten gotten all of my troops yet. Uh, looks like I'm still awaiting some of my reinforcements. Yeah, I've only got a little bit of my second corps, although that might be all I had from the second corps. I don't know. Got him bottled up now. Finally got Farnsworth in a corner where we can hopefully capture him. Oh, Farnsworth got away. But not for long. He's cornered now. Trapped between two of them. Man, he's been a pesky fellow. Let's send Forrest over here to push him back toward the melee calf. There we go. This should be the final final stand for Farnsworth.
All right, once I take this objective, I think I'm going to be pretty content to just hold my line and let him come at me. This guy just will not give up. Now he's working toward my other unit that surrendered. All right, you're done, dude. I got you this time. Maybe. Ah. Uh, here come the rest of my reinforcements. Maybe. close in never known somebody so unwilling to just admit defeat as Farnsworth <laughs> Here come the reinforcements. Not that I need them at this point. Oh, okay, the timer's ticked down, and that is it. All right, so 917 infantry, 461 cavalry were my losses, along with 18 men among the artillery, for a grand total of right around, not even 1,500. What, about 1,400? So, uh, man, I'll take that. That's uh, way better than 10 to 1 casualty rate. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Let's take a look and see what we grabbed. Anything good? Grab six 12-pounder howitzers, uh, nine Napoleons. I really need some 24-pounders uh, in the worst way. But not much else. We did rescue some of the Whitworth, so that works out nicely. Officers, got four. Lieutenant colonels promoted to full colonel. That's very helpful. All right, let's see who did the best on the day. Our sharpshooters, of course, 2,380 kills, 10 losses. Rough Riders, real nice day. O'Hare's Ohio Outlaws, outstanding. 95th Rifles, very good. Great day for everybody. I believe we go right into another major battle after this. And I've got more men than I possibly know what to do with. But let's take a look real quick at the situation. Malvern Hill. This one's going to be a little harder. But I think I'm on the defense. No, I'm on the at attack for this one. That's right. This is a seven days campaigns. And the U Union was falling back. So the Confederate was pressing the attack. All right. So at least in theory, numbers, again, should be pretty even. So that should bode well for me moving forward. But he's going to have a lot of artillery this time. All right, so that'll be for another day. Let me know your thoughts, your comments, your questions, your observations, your criticisms, any and all that thing. Use the comment section below. Please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you again in a few days with the Battle of Malvern Hill. Have a great weekend, everybody.